This is Jerry Wilson. I'm the Director of Business Development for Zero POS at Adello. And in this series of videos, we've looked at employee theft, how it can hurt you, how you can recognize it, and what you can do about it. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at how much employees steal. This is how much an individual employee steals over time, how do bartenders steal, and uh, how do servers get to you? What do they do to steal from you? But let's start off with employee theft fact number five. And that is, over time, employees who steal less or less than $1,000 are less than 2% of your employees. And that is, take the inverse of that. That means that over 98% of your employees steal more than $1,000 over time. They may do it a little bit of a time, but they will get to you for more than $1,000. In the point of sale industry, a general rule of thumb is you can judge how much an employee steals by the car they drive. Now think about it. How many of your employees walk to work or maybe take a bus? Or how many of them drive a pretty nice car? I once told this rule of thumb to a business owner. He stopped me. He got up, walked out, looked at the parking lot, and saw how many of his employees were driving cars nicer than he was, and he came back really, really upset. So how do they do it? How do they get to you? Let's take a look at one of the ways that a bartender will do it, and that's they bring their own bottle. They'll determine what is a real popular drink in your bar or restaurant, and then they'll bring that bottle with them to serve out of. So when somebody wants a Jack and Coke, they'll use your glass, your ice, and your Coke, but they're going to pour the Jack out of their bottle and then put the payment into their pocket. So you have to watch out for bartenders bringing their own bottles. Another way that bartenders and servers get to you is that they overserve or overpour. In this case, let's talk about how they overpour alcohol. They'll overpour the amount of liquor into the into the glass, hoping for a tip, a larger tip than normal. Uh, I once had a bartender that was getting to a restaurant owner. He wasn't quite sure how, but he called me in. He had a simple cash register with a separate credit card terminal. And he was looking at a particular credit card charge for $70, but it had a $5 product. And then in that the restaurant bar owner had, uh, he had a $70 charge where he had paid out a $65 tip on a $5 product that was sold. And he was wondering how that could be. And it's real simple. The bartender rang up that first $5 drink, but he poured for the rest of the night out of his own bottle for an extra tip, which he got $65 from that uh, particular patron. That was a $65 tip he got, but the bartender got the restaurant owner or the bar owner, he got stiffed. He didn't get his, mar his money or his profit. Another way is for servers in the soft beverages that they produce or they fix. These are the teas, the soft drinks, and what have you, that they will do the same thing. They will not charge for this, but have served to the patron or the, or the guest. So the patron or guest is getting served and they're getting unlimited refills out of your product, but they're not being charged. And on the end result is, the server is looking for an extra tip for not charging that customer for those beverages. The same thing happens for coffees and teas in, the, in that the items that they are producing come off your profit line, but they're not getting charged for in hopes, or, in hopes of getting an extra tip. The same thing goes for desserts. Anytime you have a soft beverage or a coffee, a tea or dessert, that the server is getting or preparing themselves, you are open for theft if that is not being charged for. The servers and the bartenders will do this in hopes of getting 
additional tips from that patron. This leads to employee theft fact number six. Over time, the amount stolen is in excess of $175,000 per employee. And you're going, Jerry, there's no way. There's no way they can steal $175,000 without me knowing it. Well, let's take a look at this. And maybe this will help break down just how easy it is for them to steal that much money. Remember the buffet cashier in the previous video? They were hitting that buffet owner for 100 bucks a day through cashier stacking. Well, if you do $100 a day, five days a week, 52 weeks in a year, that's $26,000 a year that they're hitting you for that profit. That's in a five-year total is $130,000. And you're thinking, well, over five years, they're going to stay that long? Why would they leave? They're making an extra $26,000 a year. And unless you catch them, they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to be your best employee. And how about in this video, how about that sweethearting bartender? He was doing $65 tips on a $5 charge. Well, if he does that a couple of times a day, five days a week, 52 weeks a year, that's $33,800 a year. Over five years, that's $169,000. Now, if your bar stays open without going bankrupt, he's going to stick around. He's going to rake it in. So that's how they these employees can steal in excess of $175,000 if you don't catch them. The good news is employee theft is preventable, but you might need help. Contact your local Adela or Zira POS dealer. They'll be glad to help you learn how to spot it, how to use your point of sale system, and possibly even a camera system to catch these thieves. If you don't know who your local Adela or Zero POS dealer is, call us at 800-801-6036 and our inside sales team will help you locate your local dealer. You can always visit us at www.adelo.com or contact us at sales at adelo.com or you can always contact me to direct at jerry.wilson at adelo.com. We also encourage you to follow us on Facebook where we have daily articles about uh, operating your restaurant the most efficient manner. You can contact us on Twitter or through LinkedIn. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos.